Last week, Avery asked you if you think the recent leadership changes at Texas Tech, at Chancellor, and on the Board of Regents are a step in the right direction. 75% of you said, yes, you do. And as always, we thank you for sharing. The Veterans Administration has once again given its hospital in Big Spring a one-star rating, three years in a row now. Amarillo was a four-star, but it's almost two hours for a Lubbock veteran to get to the clinic there, and often much longer waits once they do get there. But a big new VA clinic is coming to Lubbock in 2021, just north of the Health Sciences Center. And our Mari Salazar spoke with a local veteran who says this facility is a long time coming. Our veterans get uh, the care that they need without having to drive long distances. Retired Air Force Colonel Dave Lewis says only good will come from the new VA clinic. The neat thing about this partnership is the Texas Tech Health Science Center will be able to provide specialty care when the veterans need that. We caught up with Congressman Jody Arrington, who also looks forward to the clinic breaking ground within the next couple of years. Our veterans are the very best of us, and they deserve the very best from us. And so I'm ecstatic that West Texas is getting this tremendous asset for the veterans. Arrington says there are more than 40,000 veterans who will greatly benefit from this clinic. Right now, veterans in the 29 counties he represents have to go to Amarillo for treatment. I think they're, they're, the quality of life for our veterans in West Texas will be dramatically improved as a result. The project will cost $12.3 million and provide a 94,000 square foot facility, which more than doubles the space of the current clinic off of Avenue Q. Expansion of capacity here means that we'll have the ability, hopefully, to serve and uh, try to recruit those veterans to come in and get the care that they earned. It's our Mari Salazar reporting. Stick around. We're coming right back with a look at next week's show.